Hello, Piluji here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Trello in order to streamline my design process for both myself and the designers that I might hire. Now, I've been a designer for the past 10 years and I also hired many designers. So I understand it from both points of views and having worked with so many companies from all around the world, pretty much, I noticed that in order to work remotely in an efficient way, you have to have a strong workflow. And after trying pretty much any software that is out there from Asana, ClickUp, Monday, and many more, I figured out that Trello is in fact one of the best softwares out there in order to keep the process clean and straight to the point. Now, of course, each and every software has its pros and cons, but for my specific design workflow, I noticed that it helps you to keep everything organized, streamlined, and it's not too complex where you actually feel a point of diminishing returns when it comes to the complexity whenever tackling a project. So very easy to use. And now let's jump right into Trello and I'm going to show you exactly how I structure my design workflow. All right, so we're in my Trello board and this is pretty much the template which I use for each and every client whenever I onboard them. And essentially the way it works is it's divided into four main columns. The very first one is going to be the how to use this board. So basically you're, they're going to have a link and some basic overview of how this Trello board works, which is exactly what I'm doing here in this video. Over here, they're going to drop any design files inside of this card, which might be useful. Uh, or alternatively, I'm going to send over the Figma links and my design files if we're starting a project from scratch. Now, on top of that, I always hated going through the emails whenever uh, it was to, uh, to recover images, attachments, logos, and all those things. I always like to keep things very organized. And that's the reason why I have a card for the brand assets so that we can keep uh, all of those files in one single place and never have to dig through the emails again. Now, that being said, we're going to move on to the very next one, which is uh, the backlog. And uh, here is uh, where we're going to leave uh, or where the clients are going to leave uh, all the design briefings and uh, whatever is going on at the moment. So for example, one thing that uh, I always encourage cli clients to do is to add a brief description uh, of the project and if they can also leave a Loom video, this can be way more effective than uh, setting up a call in a lot of instances. And one of the reasons why I personally love using Loom is because uh, first of all, you avoid having to do long meetings to uh, maybe communicate a couple of points. Secondarily, you save uh, time on both ends. Uh, third reason is that uh, say that one person within the team or multiple persons within the team cannot attend the meeting where there is the briefing. Um, in that case, a Loom video can be seen 24 seven, any time of the year. And uh, you also have the additional benefit of uh, say that you go on a meeting and you forget something with the Loom video, you don't have this issue because you can rewatch uh, the briefing over and over again. So very efficient way of uh, approaching uh, uh, what I would personally re what I would personally say briefings uh, which are between uh, uh, maybe like three to 15 minutes of course if it's a larger conversation if it's if we're, we're talking about strategy and uh, something which is more big picture uh, I call is going to be more indicated but for the very most part uh, loom videos or uh, something which are great now, on top of that, uh, something which is really useful, of course, for the clients to send uh, a designer over is uh, either sketches or some uh, wireframes to kind of like show what is the before and after that they're looking for. So this is more indicated for pure UI design, of course. And uh, when it comes to user experience design or UX design uh, thinking, those type of more advanced strategic decisions, of course, are, aren't going to be communicated via wireframes. But overall, this is something which uh, 
really helps streamline the process. Now, that being said, uh, what I usually recommend is to have then one active request at a time. And the reason for that is purely for focus. If you focus on one active request at a time, you keep uh, all of the energies in one single point so that you don't have to um, multi-manage, especially if you're dealing with a lot of clients, it can be tricky. So focus is definitely one of the most important things uh, in business. And uh, the way it works is uh, you can literally drag and drop uh, the card into the active request. And then once the project is done, after you've done your fair bit of communication within the card, so again, trying to avoid email as much as possible because it doesn't yield great results for both ends. So I found that communication directly in the Trello card is definitely really, really uh, useful. It makes the process more efficient and fast. And then once that is done, you'd move the card in the approved section. And uh, I like to keep the approved section because uh, it has uh, a version history of all of the design projects. And uh, so even if say uh, three months from now, six months from now, you need to um, retrieve a past design or a conversation or something that was inside of the card while working on that concept. Maybe it was like a previous concept, some explorations or whatnot you have also this section right here. Now, that being said, guys, each and every um, design team is going to have different needs. Uh, this is not a one size fits all for each and every uh, design team or uh, online business. So it really depends on your specific uh, SOPs and how you want to structure your business. But if you're interested in uh, learning more about it, or want a consultation with me, uh, feel free to book a call in the link in the description and uh, I'll see you in the very next video.